you are a modern man, you should be able to get a modern woman. If your definition of modern man is a more astute, elevated, evolved type of man, then you should be able to get a more astute, elevated, evolved type of woman. Everything I'm about to say, you already know it's going to be true. You are a slave. You are a slave to money, to social economics, to status, to politics, to ideology. You have sold your soul to have a place in a world order that you should naturally oppose. But I want to talk about accepting the realities of modern life. Look, my brothers, several things you have to accept. First of all, I don't know what this thing is about older and younger women. I, I don't really understand this. I don't, I don't understand why you have young dudes that are relatively young telling even younger women that they are in competition with even younger women. It's, it's silly, you know what I'm saying? None of y'all are above 35 mostly on these panels. So what are y'all talking about? And if you think a 35-year-old woman is, is, is competing with an 18-year-old woman, you don't know nothing about life. 18-year-old girls ain't got nothing on the older chicks. Nothing. Your dudes live in your bubble talking about body count and everything. But the truth of the matter is that most men don't care about this. I mean, y'all are a minority. And the reason why y'all care about body count is because of insecurity. Superhead was right. You don't want to hear this, but it's true. A woman's body count is of no concern of a real man. Men like what they like. You see a chick that's 45 that still look good. You don't care how many men she's been with. You just want to get yours. That's how the mind of a man's supposed to work. A man is not supposed to look at the woman and be like, oh, she's too old. And, you know, I can't do nothing with her. You could do everything with her that you could do with a young chick except have a baby. So unless your concern is children, the younger woman is not in competition with an older woman no more than two younger women are in competition with each other. It don't work that way. And since y'all always want to mention like dating app statistics, which is crazy that y'all even talk about that because of the, the percentage of the population that are actually on dating apps is small. And the percentage that are on there looking for actual dates is even smaller. People are looking to hook up. You got a few thirsty women on there, but most people are just looking to hook up. Dating apps is, a, it, uh, is dating apps are in no way a reflection of society. But you know what it is? Something like Twitter. That's a closer reflection because Twitter is not a dating app. Twitter is something that everybody uses for everything, you know what I'm saying? It's just an open forum. It's not a dating app. And if you look at like the pages dedicated to women, like the mature women, hot wives, you know, hot mature women and blah, 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 all this kind of stuff, right? If you look at their responses on their pictures versus the responses of the young pretty girls, the young girls, it's about the same. Good looking is good looking. So I don't really know what's the point that y'all be trying to make in it. Like I said, you have relatively young men telling relatively young women that they are in telling relatively younger women that they are, that they are that they have to compete with even younger women. It's just it's it's not true. I I, I don't even know what the point to that is because in no reality is that true. So you gotta accept that that's not true. Another thing, the traditional marriage thing. That's not true. Like I said, man, most marriages that I know of that are successful are non-traditional. You know, people find ways to cohabitate, to coexist, to travel together. Every couple you see, every union you see, polygynous, polyamorous, polyandrous, it doesn't matter. Whatever the, the union is, comprised of it is still comprised of individuals choosing to be together the the term traditional marriage is it is another systemic term created by white men there is no such thing as a traditional marriage because the white cultures so-called traditions only date back you know 
100 years or so, 200 years at the most. There is no traditional marriage. You know, their culture is tied to the to, to, to the culture of slavery because that's what, the, that, that's what their system is. The system is a system of work till you're dead. For whatever reason, I, I still don't understand what's the point of creating a system where people work to the day other than they want power over us. You talk about people that are psychotic. They just want to feel like they have power and dominion over other human beings. It's a psychological thing. And we are playing into their hands. But anyway, the traditional marriage thing is a myth. There are no traditional marriages. Every couple, every union, every grouping is just individuals choosing to work together. You got to figure it out. You know what I'm saying? But the first thing you gotta understand is that they are individuals choosing to work together. That that each individual has their own characteristics, their own traits, own habits, own interests, own hobbies. You can't ask people to stop living just because they want to travel through life with you. And if you if and if you're that kind of person, you'll never get married. No more than a woman who thinks like that will ever get married. There's a reason why women who also have this scroll that they pull out talking about what men supposed to do. There's a reason why these women are always single. So what you think, brothers? You gonna pull out your own scroll and it's gonna be different on your end? Nah, it's gonna be the same way. It's gonna, it's gonna be the same way because at the end of the day, you're asking another human being to conform to you and that's not what marriage is. If that's your definition of traditional marriage, then it don't work. Are you asking human beings to conform to some, some Eurocentric Christian point of view? Because that's what they mean by traditional marriage. That's a Eurocentric Christian point of view. And it's also just based on work. It's based on the premise that a man goes out and work all day and a woman stays home and take care of the house. First of all, most of us can't afford one income. You know, it's, it's hard to survive for one income. Y'all know this. So that throws out traditional marriage right there. That throws out that that throws out traditional everything. The fact that you need two incomes, or the fact that two incomes will be better than one, that throws out everything right there. And even if you have a the, the man makes enough, still, man, you know, it's just we live in a different time. As I said in the other video, sooner or later you're gonna have to reconcile the differences between your beliefs and the reality of the times that we live in. Traditional marriage is gone. It don't exist. It never really existed because most people never lived that way. And you people be shocked at the people that y'all hold up thinking they so traditional. Because, you know, you got mild-mannered women. You get you see this couple, nice, mild-mannered, you know what I'm saying? She seems submissive type of wife, you know what I'm saying? But I mean, you don't know what you're looking at, bro. I ain't saying the lady might be a monster in, in, in private, but a lot of times these people are not as mild man or quiet or whatever you think as you think they are. Those women have personalities. They just not wild people publicly, but they have personalities. So this whole thing about traditional marriage is dead. Another thing for the sisters y'all should know, feminism does not help women. We know that, all the men talk about that. Feminism has never had anything to do with black women. Black women should have never joined it. But here's the reverse side to that coin. Red pill ideology is not for black men. Black men should have never joined that. Black men should have never latched on to, to the red pill ideology that morphed over into MGTOW, that then they split off and started if more than black MGTOW and the black manosphere. But the point is, all of this bitter and anger towards women, man, makes no sense. Because it is what it is. Either you're gonna deal with them or you're not. If you're not gonna deal with them as it is, if you're not gonna try to figure out a way to make it work as the reality is today, then go on about your business. And if you're gonna go about your business, then I mean, why talk about them all day? You can't talk them into changing. You can't browbeat them. You can't whine about it. You can't shame them. They're not gonna change. So you either learn to try to figure out a way to reach them because you're still a man. It's still a certain hierarchy there. You're still gonna be the leader, but you gotta figure out a way to get to them. Either you try to figure it out 
you know, or you leave it alone. But the dudes y'all listen to, the dudes y'all give likes and y'all 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 watch their videos and they pander to y'all, the females too, they pander to y'all and y'all have become an income, source of income for these people, that's fine, that's fine. But you do realize they are not helping you. You can listen to it all you want, but you do realize that you've been doing this now for 10 years. And, it, and last I checked, it's been getting worse. It's been getting worse. And your brothers are not original with nothing. The white boys started uh, uh, MGTOW, y'all jump on, start Ip More. You know, branch off from MGTOW to Ip More, but then black MGTOW and all this and stuff. White boys start, you know what I'm saying, male or the brides, y'all start passport brothers. You know what I'm saying? Y'all just following white men. Why don't y'all stop following white men, bro? Why don't y'all stop doing what white men do, bro? Stop, stop trying to beat them. Y'all want to wet suit, wet, wet, wet suits. The reason why y'all want to wet suits because y'all talking about we want to change the perception of the stereotypes about black. Them people don't care what you got on, but you're still a nigga. They don't care what you wear, man. You are still a nigga to them. Come on. Come on, man. The only thing that matters that you wear is your skin. You can't change that. You can try anything you want, that's your problem. You're too concerned with fitting in with those people. You're too concerned with being liked by and, and accepted by those people. Stop it. We should have never joined the red pill ideology as black men, no more than black women should have ever joined feminism. That is not our thing. And now, 10 years later, 15 years later, where has it gotten you? Y'all thought y'all was making political progress, bragging about everything, and what happened? Y'all get slammed in the midterm elections. Y'all got washed, didn't do nothing. Now they know that they don't have to take you serious now. They really gonna double down on y'all now. Yeah, y'all had them nervous, but now they know that it ain't that serious. Because y'all are a smaller minority than y'all think y'all are. But y'all got some energy, you know what I'm saying? Y'all could do something if y'all just focus the right direction, man, but that's the problem. Look, I ain't gonna make this one long. I just wanna get that out, you know what I'm saying? I just thought that accepting the realities of modern life is very important. Y'all always talk about modern women do this, modern women do that. Well, modern women are doing what modern women do. Now, what are you gonna do? Because you can't have it both ways. You can't claim to be winning while you're obviously losing. Winning is not done by talking. Winning is done by actually winning, by playing the game and actually winning. You can't sit there on YouTube and online and everything in these groups and chat rooms and in these comment sections and cheering people on and you think you're winning. That's not winning. Just like that crazy lady on that one video with, 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 on, on the Peace Network arguing with Anton talking about she's been engaged three times and she bragging on that. That's not winning, baby. That's not the, you should have kept that to yourself. That is not nothing you brag on. You've been engaged three times with shows that men like you, that they show interest, but they can't ever get across the finish line with you. Either you walk away or they walk away. And more than likely, they walking away. More than likely, they are getting tired of, of something and saying, you know what, I can't deal with this. I can't deal with it. You know what I'm saying? Because a woman want to be married just to, just to have that, 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 that notch under her belt. So the fact that she's been engaged three times and, 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 and never got across the finish line, it's bad. Well, you brothers are the same way. You can't sit back and brag, you know, while you living vicariously through Andrew Tate, dead Kevin Samuels, and, 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 and all these other guys. You can't do it like that. What's going on in your life? What's happening in your world? Are you really winning personally? Because, if, listen, I understand modern life sucks. That's the first thing you have to accept. They take away our life. You basically work till your day. You don't have a lot of hours in between. So the question is, what do you do in between? Modern life is what it is. It sucks. Modern women are what they are. They suck. But what are you going to do? What are you going to do? 
You can either be a hermit, live alone, let your life be working, going home and playing video games, and just get offline and shut up. The, the point I'm trying to make is, it makes no sense to, to stress yourself out or placate to yourself, to your emotions by making, you, by, by making yourself think that you're doing something by sitting online, laughing at women that are actually living. Because the one thing y'all don't understand is that these women, you know, that, that for the most part, they are living their life. You got that few that's sitting online crying that can't do nothing else. But most of them are living their life. They're not out and about crying, they are living. So you can't sit online and make fun of women that are living. It don't work that way. You got to get out and live also. So my question is, what are you prepared to do? Because it makes no sense what you're doing. You're not winning like that. I have never sat on the sidelines in life. I've always got out in the game. That's why I know what it's like to fail. That's why I know what it's like to lose. But I also know what it's like to win. A lot of y'all heard this one brother say, that he, he, likes, he likes to be somewhere where the women are choosing. He moved to Brazil, right? And whatever city he ain't say, you know, I just, I just take cues from the women, you know what I'm saying? If they choose, then I move on it because he said, getting shot down hurts your ego. You could talk about that all you want to him, man, you gotta get shot down, just keep trying. He said, you know, he did a whole bunch of cursing, like, man, you know, if you get shot down 13 times in a row, man, that's gonna mess your, your confidence up. No, it don't. No, it don't. Listen, bro, if you can't pull a woman, something is wrong with you. At some point, you gotta stop blaming the women. First of all, women still choose. Women choose in America. They choose. But the women y'all won't don't choose because they don't believe they have to. They are hot girls. Y'all want the hot girl. I don't like hot girls. I like a square girl and I turn her into a hot girl. That's what I do. I find a quiet girl and I turn her into a hot girl. I dress her up then and now I got me a trophy walking around with that without the headaches. But y'all want a girl that's just wild. And then you want to be concerned with her body count. You can assume she got a graveyard. Why even bother? Why y'all want these thoughts and Instagram type girls? That's what y'all really want. And those women are a problem. But other than that, women still choose in America. But if they're not choosing you, then you need to ask yourself why. Running to another country is not the answer. If you want to go, by all means, do you. But running to another country is not the answer. So we got to step our game up, man. We got to figure out what are, what, what are we doing? Are you really going to play the game to win? Or are you trying to sit on the sideline and cheerlead for other people? Because you can't, you, you, you can't and, and claim to win. You know, y'all like these old fat sloppy dudes that watch football every all day Sunday and talk about we. Man, we playing good, man. That day, man, we we gonna beat y'all next week though. Next time we meet. Dude, you on the sofa eating popcorn, man, and Doritos. You don't play nothing. Why don't you get out there and live your own life and stop living vicariously through other people? Stop, stop cheering for the successes of others and stop crying at the failures of others. Stop, stop it, man. Do you get out there and try to live. Get out there and try to find success your own way in reality. That's my advice to you. On that note, I'm done. Like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Till next time, I'm out of here. I'm Brother Kush, AKA the Black Alpha, Falana.